Hello, and this is Cody Ray with another very quick Plan Mecha Tech Tips. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about exporting files out of Romexis. Now, it's great that you have access to all of that information in the office, but sometimes just having that data in the office is not enough. We want to share those images with colleagues, patients, uh, to take home on a thumb drive, on a disk, and that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do today. Okay, I have Romexis open, and the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to export your extra oral bite wings, your pans, and other two-dimensional images. Now those tend to be a little easier to do because you don't need a special viewer for these. Pretty much every computer these days is capable of opening up a JPEG or a TIFF file. So let's get down to it. Now I've got my patient and the image that I want to export open. I'm just going to go up top and click on this export image button. And it's going to give me this new window. This window gives us a few options. Usually you want to leave it at processed images and that JPEG file format, which is very common. Uh, this will give you the best image quality. If you choose original images, that's fine. It's just going to give you a more raw image without any contrast enhancements or anything like that applied to it. At this point, you can go ahead and choose a file name. At this point, you'll notice that I have the file being saved to my desktop. If you look up there at the line where it says folder, uh, there's going to be that three dot button to the right of that line. If you click that, it'll let you browse for a different file location, and that's where you can choose where you want to actually save the file. So pretty handy and really easy. At this point, uh, you're pretty much ready to go ahead and export that image. I'm just going to click OK, and there we go. The image is exported to my desktop. Wait, 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 Cody. I saw a lot of other checkboxes on that thing before you clicked OK. Well, you got me. You're right. There are more options on how you can export your files than just to your desktop. So let me go ahead and show you what those options are now. OK, so the first option we see says create patient and image information file. This literally just creates a text file that includes image related information. The next box just says burn patient information to the exported file. This literally attaches the image information directly to the exported image. The the next checkbox says export images and Romex's viewer to an ISO image. This creates a special file that your computer can use to burn things to a disk without the need for the Romexis viewer. All right, the last step is the most interesting. Burn images and plan Mecca Romexis viewer to CD or DVD. Now this is self-explanatory. If you check that box and hit OK, the Romexis viewer is going to immediately start looking for a blank disk in your disk drive. And it will subsequently burn that image to the disk and the Romexis viewer. Okay, now moving on. And of course, 3D images can be exported in Romexis. I'm going to show you how to do that now. I'm just going to go ahead and double click to open up a 3D volume that I want to export. Once that 3D volume is open, I'm going to go up top under my output tab and I'm going to click on export volumes. I'm going to give that a click and that is going to give us a very similar, very familiar looking options window, except for we have a few more options when it comes to 3D than we did with 2D. For instance, the first option is export as a single multi-frame DICOM file or a set of single multi-frame DICOM files. All right, notice the plurality there. Files is going to literally give you a separate file for every frame in that 3D data set. That's like 400 frames. You don't really want to choose that. What I would do is stick with a single multi-frame DICOM file. Now all of the checkbox options on this window are self-explanatory. So what I'm going to do is show you how to burn a disk with a viewer or make a thumb drive with a viewer that you can give to patients or colleagues and that they can actually use to open up that 3D data set and rotate it around and look at it just like you can there in the office. So let's get to that. So here we go. The first thing you're going to want to do is check that box that says burn viewer with DICOM files on CD or DVD. Now, of course, you can use either a CD or a DVD, but I would personally recommend using a DVD. So let's go ahead and put a blank DVD into our computer now. And at this point, we can name the file name anything we want and then click OK. Immediately, Romexis will start to look for that blank DVD. It'll start preparing the volume in the viewer for export, and it will go ahead and burn that information to the disk. Burning a disk can take about anywhere from four to six minutes. This one in particular took about four and a half minutes. It's completely normal for it to take that long. I sped this part of the video up for convenience. 
Now the disks are both Macintosh and Windows compatible, so all the user would have to do is pop the disk into their respective computers and double click the Romexis viewer icon. Finally, last but not least, let's talk about getting the Romexis viewer and images onto a thumb drive. So it's going to be similar to the process of burning it to a disk, except we're going to come down here and choose to export the viewer with the multi-frame image and that's it. Now I'm on a Mac, when I browse for my thumb drive, I actually have to go from the desktop down to my hard drive and then I need to scroll down to volumes. Once I open up volumes and my thumb drive has been connected, it'll show up right there. So I'm just gonna give that a double click, choose to save this information onto my thumb drive, click OK. And at this point, I'm ready. I can go ahead and hit OK and it'll start exporting the viewer and that multi-frame image right to my thumb drive. Once finished, the thumb drive will actually act a lot like the disk we just burned. The user could put it into their computer and double click the Romexis viewer icon in the thumb drive and they would be able to view that 3D volume. So this concludes exporting for today. And as always, the best way to learn about software, including Romexis, is to dig in and play with it yourself. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and have a great day.